Virgin Media O2 has announced it will be getting in touch with millions of customers over the festive period to help those who may be struggling on a low income. In an industry first, the company will include information about social tariffs in its December bills for TV, landline and broadband, in a bid to help promote the support that's available for people who need it. Social tariffs are cheaper packages for services like broadband and mobiles, that are typically aimed at low-income households who may be on benefits such as universal credit. These work the same way as normal packages, just at a lower price. Birmingham Live reports that the company has also encouraged the government to slash the VAT on these social tariffs and update its digital inclusion strategy, which was published back in 2014. Also in a bid to help people in need this Christmas, Virgin Media O2 kickstarted its scheme to transform hundreds of company-owned stores into national digital inclusion hubs yesterday, December 11. This means that people will be offered 25 gigabytes of free O2 data, texts and calls per month if they are struggling, regardless of their mobile provider. The business has committed to supporting customers even more by launching its own mobile social tariff next year. Rob Orr, Chief Operations Officer at Virgin Media O2, said, Having pioneered one of the first broadband social tariffs back in 2020, we know the difference that affordable connectivity can make to people's lives and we've continued to step up to provide support. To go further once again, we're boosting our awareness raising efforts to spread the word about the support measures we've put in place. Whether that's through information on customers' monthly bills or our collaboration with local authorities across the UK, millions more people will be regularly reminded about our essential broadband packages which offer cut price broadband and entertainment for those facing financial difficulty. While we have regularly increased the support on offer, we won't solve digital exclusion alone, which is why we're reiterating our call on government to update its nine-year-old digital inclusion strategy and cut VAT on social tariffs to further help those who need it.